We're in Sebastian Inlet, Florida. And it's gorgeous. Look at this. Yeah, I think we've put this on our list as one of our favorite spots. And all along here in the morning, you see turtle after turtle after turtle. It is so neat. Unreal. Really, unreal. The best part is all the wildlife we encountered, like this very curious sea turtle. If you're new around here, we're so glad you found us. It just takes a second to subscribe, and it's free. Now let's get into it. We left behind the Florida monkeys in clear spring waters of central Florida and drove our home on wheels over to the beachside. This adventure starts on Florida's east coast in Sebastian Inlet. The water is beautiful, and there's a cove that we are definitely checking out later. It's first come, first serve. A lot of people coming down to avoid snow. But yeah, luckily you guys got two days at least here. Very excited. Oh man, we did it. We'll be staying here multiple nights because they allowed us to do a first come first serve tonight. So excited. What do you think? This is gorgeous. Both sides are Sebastian Inlet. Right across the way is where we're gonna be paddling tomorrow. It's also part of the park. There is a dolphin playing right there. I can't even believe it's right there. There it goes. Oh my gosh. He was actually in the little cove over there. It means there could be dolphins swimming with us. We've been trying to book a place here for a long time and it's always busy. It's always booked up. Oh my God. That was oh. a beautiful one. <laughs> <laughs> She's always hunting for dolphins. Most of the time, you know that we're usually hopping from site to site. We'll go one place and then we'll try another place and it's like night to night and it can get pretty tiring. But this time we're gonna be here for days. Actually, the best part is that this campground has sights on the water. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this campground is amazing. Whoa. Right on the water. There's so many of them that are just backed up to the water. So this is our camping spot for the night. Every camping spot has their own spot except for the two walk-in sites. They're kind of just divided with this little log here, which is fine because yeah. I mean, we're Beggars lucky enough. can't be choosers, right? That's right, we're lucky enough to be here. And also a nice view of the dumpster. Well, at least it's not too far. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just happy we have a space. What do you think so far? This is perfect. Wow, I am so excited. Let's get the bikes out. We find that a quick bicycle ride when we arrive is the best way to get familiar with the campgrounds and the park. At Sebastian Inlet, there are so many places to access the water, including the riverside beaches on the Indian River Lagoon. Whoa. But this inlet wasn't always here. After a number of tries to open a passage from the river to the ocean, it was finally successful in the mid-1900s, and this bridge was built just afterwards, connecting the north and south sides of the inlet. And then in 1970, this beautiful part of Florida officially became a state park, stretching all the way to the ocean. With the waves constantly bringing sand back into the inlet, there's actually a sand trap that moves a lot of sand from the inlet every year to the south part of the park. And now it's a happy haven for all kinds of wildlife. be our site tomorrow night but tonight we have campsite 50 so we got to go back to that one time for a sundowner
Good morning from Sebastian Inlet. So today we're heading over to the north side of the park. I think it's going to be really beautiful. I think that's where we're going to put in the paddleboard. Oh, since we're parked right next to the water, yeah. I can see some of the noceums just bouncing right off the screen. But the screen is actually mosquito netting, so I think some of the noceums can get in. Mm -hmm. 75 in here this morning. It's actually not that bad, other than the noceums. <laughs> park anywhere in the parking lot because there are a number of little entrances that go into the cove. Right now we're all by ourselves, but on the weekends, uh, it gets very busy here. We're looking out into the inlet and the channel there. It looks like it's moving pretty good, but there's all of these rocks that protect this cove and it's very, very peaceful. I think it's gonna be the perfect place to go paddle boarding and just spend all day here. Oh, it's excited. It's actually quite amazing how shallow it is. We got the paddleboard out and then we were looking way out there and everybody's just walking. I know it gets deep there. The dolphins we saw out in the center. So there must be like a little drop off. It's getting a little busier now and most of the people I think are just going to swim near the shore, which means we get to go paddleboarding way out in the cove. I remember from last time, we forgot our fin, so we don't have a fin right now. But I think it'll be pretty good in this little cove. How's it feeling without the fin? I keep going side to side. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to take it out into that inlet. I mean, the waves are coming in like crazy. In fact, I really don't want to accidentally get out there. <laughs> it's still only like four and a half, five feet. Wow. Which means when the dolphin was playing here yesterday, he's in really shallow water. So currently the tide is going out, which means if we paddle out, into the channel right there we're possibly going to be swept out into the ocean so we better stick to this little inlet right here this little cove we're getting very close to the edge here it's making me nervous i'm 
we got it. Thankfully, if we start to lose control, it's so shallow we just have to step out and walk it back. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go by and say hi to the pelicans and I think there's some cormorants. Oh my God, wow. There's a manatee. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was the big reveal. Oh, he's coming up again. There he goes. <laughs> I saw him come up again. There he goes. <laughs> Just saw the manatee come up again. I keep looking at him. This is fun. <laughs> A, a little bait ball of fish. Oh boy. And they're trying to escape the pelicans. Sarah just dropped me off on the rocks. I actually don't have my chocolates on, so it's a little bit slippery. All right, I've made it just about as far as I can go. If I go out on that rock right there, it's totally covered in bird poop. And we're the only ones out here with a paddle board. That's kind of unbelievable because you can just float around and find all of this wildlife. This is actually the exact spot that we were watching the dolphins last night. The dolphins were just right behind me, right in that opening. And they were just fishing all night long. Yeah, I think we've put this on our list as one of our favorite spots. If we're ever feeling stressed out, even if we don't camp here, we are going to get a ticket to come in to either side of the park and just hang out all day long for $8. That is insane. How you doing out there? Awesome. I think I'm ready to go explore on the paddleboard now. Would you give me a ride? Hey! Uh oh. Whoa! Maybe it was a shark. Hey, there's the manatee again. Even though there's clearly signs at this park about not chasing the manatees, we saw a lot of that while we were here. There's a hole in his tail. And even when it's innocent and well-intentioned, it does disrupt the manatee's natural state. It gets them more used to humans, which is really not in the manatee's best interest. Poor thing keeps getting run off. We savored our last moments on the water before heading back to enjoy our waterfront campsite. <laughs> this is how Paul brings me in in shallow water. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Time for lunch? I just went and emptied the van. Found whatever food I could find since we parked so close. Did you work up an appetite? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me either. I was trying to like get ready and then I thought I had him in the bag. And so hopefully had him in You know, actually it's getting packed right now. I can only imagine what this is like on the weekend. Right now it's a Thursday. Mm. Give me a smear. Yeah, baby. <laughs> How exciting. 
first time really eating them. We could even take a shower if we wanted to. I'm tempted, but we have showers at the campground. All right, we gotta go. Shower time, shower clean. time. Gonna be clean. So excited. I feel like I have salt all over the place. Scrub a dub. Scrub, Scrub a dub. dub dub. Did you bring the soap? No. I actually didn't either. We can borrow some from a neighbor. <laughs> we could just use shampoo. Here we are again. Right. I we're, can't believe I it. I think we're right next to the schoolie. Oh my god, we are. What? Here we are, 12. Oh my gosh. Hey cutie. Welcome to my campsite. Unreal. Really, unreal. I think the best camping spot we've ever had. Here I am, right at the water. And there's our camping site. I love it. And all along here in the morning, you see turtle after turtle after turtle. It is so neat. Oh, oh. Well, I know one thing. After all of that salt water and all of that sun, I think it's time for a shower. What do you think? Okay, shower time. <laughs> Alright, see you soon. I think I'll pick this one. Pretty good size. I'm gonna do some laundry too. I feel amazing. Uh, there is nothing like a nice shower on a hot day after going into the ocean. That just makes me feel like a brand new person. Good. Oh my gosh. Oh, a dolphin! <gasps> right out of our front door. Yeah. How's the view? I'm watching for dolphins. That was cool. Yeah. Now that we're all clean. I think it's time to read a book. Oh. And I think this might be one of the best views we've ever had in the van. Before the sun sets on us, we're going for a quick ride. I don't think we'll be able to sit out very long. Right. So, save the beer. Enjoy. Save the beer. Let's enjoy it now. All right. Cheers. That's it. <laughs> it's like the houseboat That's all over it. again. That's it. No CMs. Yeah, the bugs can get kind of bad here. It's a good thing we have this net. Bye! <laughs> we are cooking dinner. Paul is chopping some onions, some garlic. It's about the only fresh thing we ended up having. And we're gonna put it into some pasta sauce. Excited to eat. It's been a long day. He's speechless. It's gotta be good. 
Mm. That's the way to make pasta. Somehow it's even mm. better in these bowls. All I can say is compliments to the chef. Wait, How'd you? was that me? Before we leave for our next destination, we just have to do one more paddle in hopes we see some wildlife. All right. This time right from our campsite. All right, you look for turtles, I look for dolphins, and maybe a big, big stingray. This is the very moment that took our breath away. A very curious turtle greeted us. He just saw the paddleboard, and I think he thought it was something interesting, so he just kept circling. Yeah. I'll never forget this. Unreal. I'm just in awe. To the Saturday van. To the Saturday van. Ha. Please oh. do not block. Oh, oh, shoot. That wasn't the entrance. No, it wasn't. Oh, there it is. I see some people going in. <laughs> we didn't go far enough. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on back there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at that. <laughs> it actually gets really cold here in Sebastian Inlet. So cold, we have ice-capped mountains. Okay, I guess that's the Floridian version of snow. Basically, pelican poop. <laughs> <laughs> That one didn't go so smoothly. I gotta, I gotta paddle back now. The current takes us so fast, so fast. Next time, we're in Fernandina Beach. It's a gorgeous spot on the river and ocean. But what makes this unique is the historic Fort Clinch. You get an inside look. <laughs> See you on the next adventure.